Yes, I'm in my bedroom, and yes, this is a grocery haul. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, tips for all shades of mom life, and in today's video, I am back to share with you a, a Costco haul. So I am in my bedroom because my husband is downstairs working with the kids on some math homework due to all the school cancellations. He is playing teacher for the moment while I popped up here to film this intro for you guys. So obviously with no surprise and all the craziness that's going on outside, I tried to sneak off to Costco just to get a couple of our favorite things and stock up once they started talking about self-containment and quarantine. I headed over and got there before the doors even opened and to my surprise people were already coming out with carts full. So I guess there was a mass set of people that had gotten there even long before the store had opened and they let people in early. I don't know if you've ever been inside of a Costco or a BJ's, some kind of warehouse store, a Sam's, but the registers are usually up at the front and then you have this large warehouse. Well, the line went from the registers, obviously at the front, all the way to the very, very back of the warehouse store and then looped around. In my particular Costco, that's where the water is and that's what I went for. I know it's not a hurricane, but I stocked up on water because that's what I like to use for my coffee. So that's what I went there for and things were already picked over. I had never seen really anything like what I saw. I used to live in New York, so I lived through plenty of stock up snowstorms. Uh, I've lived through hurricanes where we went and stocked up for stuff. I know what happens when people panic about, you know, possibly being stuck inside and not being able to get all of their items. But I never saw quite what I saw this time. I mean, two women were literally fighting and had to be dragged out of the store because they were fighting over the very last bottle of Pantene shampoo. I didn't, I, I've just blown away. I've never seen really what I saw inside of the store. So this isn't a very large haul. I wasn't going in there for a massive amount of stock up. I just wanted to grab some of the things that I know we like to use because I didn't know when I would be able to get back there again. So I did include the prices. I will take you down to my kitchen counter where I show you guys everything I got for this panic haul at Costco. Okay guys, there it is my really small apocalyptic survival from Costco kit. This is about all I was able to get my hands on and I don't know if I will have to go back. So you guys may get another bonus Costco haul. I'm still not sure, but I did the best that I could. So I did get some extra virgin olive oil. I mentioned that I just got a small one in my grocery haul and I was holding out till the next time I went to Costco. So I was glad I remembered to pick up that and then I did get the big pack of Annie's mac and cheese. I've been getting them from Walmart because they've been on rollback for a dollar, but this was a $4 off instant savings. So this was $8. A dollar a box is fine by me, but $8 for 12 was like a no brainer. The stuff isn't gonna go bad. And if we get stuck in our house, we can live off of mac and cheese. So I picked that up and I also picked up more of the kids Kirkland organic fruit and vegetable pouches because my kids could live off of this also. So got that. And then of course I got some white vinegar for my laundry. I did get these potatoes again. So I got them last time and they were really good and they held for a while. I probably just finished the last of them and I had went like two and a half weeks ago or something. No, three weeks ago. I went three weeks to the day. So those held for three weeks with no little eyeballs and stuff. So I think that's good. Picked those up. I did get some apples, just got some from Trader Joe's, but my kids pour through apples so can't be stuck in the house with children on a apple shortage. I also picked up some clementines. I kind of wanted to get some fruit that wouldn't perish right away and things that I could even leave in a fruit bowl on the counter if I was out of fridge space or something. So I picked that up. And then I did get a big 12 pack of the Contendina sauce. I've been buying this whenever I go randomly, just a few of them, but I use like four every time I make a pot of sauce. So this is three pots of sauce for me and I do that probably once a month, sometimes every three weeks. So this will last me a while, but it's just smart to have it on hand so I don't have to keep picking it up in little increments. 
Got another thing of the mixed nuts. We poured through that in the three weeks. I've probably been out of this for a week, so it lasted for two weeks. 15 bucks, I think it was, which I didn't think was a bad deal in comparison to the one at Walmart. This actually stacks up as a better deal, but I can't see myself buying two and spending $30. But then again, if I'm gonna go and still want nuts and buy them from Walmart, it probably is smarter. So maybe if I go back, I'll make sure to pick up more of these, but they were really delicious and they're the perfect blend, perfectly salted, super good. All right, enough about nuts. All right, I got these chocolate French crepes. Vanessa from Lemonade Mom got these the last time that she went and I was like, trying to decide whether or not I wanted them and then they mentioned to her at the register that it was the last time that they were going to be there like once they were out they weren't going to get any more in and so I wasn't going to leave the register and go back but when I went back this time the fact that there was still some on the end cap I felt like that was somebody telling me Kira buy the chocolate french crepes and see if your kiddos will like them so it's a whole bunch of know this and know that they're non-gmo so that's good and they look super yummy they're just chocolate hazelnut like nutella filled crepes that just sounds i don't know amazing i uh, got another thing of butter i even picked up a butter from walmart so i definitely won't be on a butter shortage that's for sure and then i did pick up this meat um any pasto again this is really great you guys and it ends up being six dollars a package it's black pepper coated dry salami italian dry salami dry capicole and then brosciutto and it makes the perfect italian sandwich absolutely delicious and the packages hold since they're separated so i love that i'll freeze one and then put one on the fridge and it's perfect for sandwiches since there's a possibility of being stuck home I got two things of cheese, one Colby Jack and one mild cheddar. I like to shred them myself and then just put them in a bag and use them whenever I need them. I did pick up some raspberries. This was one of the only like perishable fruits that I picked up, but I did again just go to Trader Joe's where I got strawberries and blueberries and stuff. So this should be good on the fruit. And then I got bacon, you guys. I cannot live without bacon. And I feel like there's so many meals that I can do with bacon, even if we just do eggs and bacon and cheese one night or we do BLTs. We love BLTs in this house. And I love doing like BLTs wraps or turkey BLT wraps or something like that. So this deal is amazing. It's $12 for four or $11.99, maybe something like that, which makes it $3 for a pound of bacon. And it is a really, really good. Like the one I used to get from BJ's sometimes would be like, like skinny and stringy but not this one this one is really really quality it cooks up really good so I recommend this bacon if you have not tried it then we got some cold cuts for lunches and sandwiches and stuff it's gonna be another long 10 days and so I got the Hillshire Farms Naturals slow roasted turkey breast there's three 11 ounce pouches in here so I'm gonna freeze two and just put one in the refrigerator now I'm gonna do the same thing with the honey roasted ham and we'll just use it as we need it which I think is perfect because I feel like we're gonna need a lot of throw together sandwiches and then I got some brats. I need this for a crock pot meal and they look so yummy and they're huge and delicious. And it's for St. Patrick's Day week, which is hubby's favorite week. So he's gonna love all the food that I have planned for him. And then I got four dozen eggs. They did not have that big five dozen box. It was just like two dozen or 15 dozen. And I was like, whoa, Kira, you do not have the refrigerator room for that, slow your roll. So I just got these ones, which is the ones that I actually like the best anyway. They're the organic eggs, the large ones. And I just, these are the ones that always seem the best to me, the best flavor, the brown eggs, but we shall see. And then water, you guys. This was the only water that I could get, which absolutely drove me crazy. They had a limit of five, but honestly, I stopped with the three because I know that I'm literally gonna have to individually dump any of these bottles into my coffee pot. So if you guys aren't new, I've mentioned that I hate the water here in Texas, in my particular area in Eastern San Antonio. And every single morning when I go to make my coffee, I use bottled water. And I really like those big jugs that I get from Costco. And when I tell you that it looked like this company and it says they're made, yeah, it says right here that they're made in Texas. This is probably the only water that they were able to get because when I rounded the corner to where that the water was, this is all you could see 
was just the red, white, and blue, like Texan flag kind of thing. It's all you could see because the whole floor was filled with pallets of these. And so this was it. And your limit was five. Like I said, I stopped with my three, but this is literally going to be how I drink my coffee for however long it takes for me to go through them. But unbelievable. It was definitely, like I said, the, the dawning of an apocalypse. And then I, they had my Tyson chicken breast tenderloins love these like I've been looking for these for weeks and months now and then they finally came back in just when everybody was ravishing them and I actually put them in my cart and then I went down and I realized I forgot the eggs and when I came back they were already gone so thank goodness that I went when the doors opened because I wouldn't have gotten water and I wouldn't have gotten my Tyson chicken nuggets but that was it you guys I am blown away at how small my haul was but I definitely got some essentials to get us through the next couple of weeks. All right guys, so that was it for this time's trip to Costco. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys are new here, I do post a Costco haul at least once a month with everything going on right now. I don't know if I'm gonna try and sneak it back or if I'm just gonna stay out of the stores all together and just ride with what I have. Hopefully this water will last me a while because Lord knows in some self-containment I cannot go without my coffee. But other than that, you guys, I hope you are all staying safe and happy and healthy. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.